equipment as the special forces have secured the objective. An assault landing will be carried out. That, ladies and gentlemen, was a C-130 coming in to attempt something which very few would dare to attempt. The Hercules that you saw flying low was following a profile to prevent detection in order to land troops on an unprepared surface. The aircraft is now carrying out a tight turn to the right decelerate for a short field landing. This act of rapidly changing direction with throttles to idle gives little chance to any heat-seeking missile system to acquire and track. What is being demonstrated today, ladies and gentlemen, is called a tack a beam approach or a tactical a beam approach. Now you can see him positioning for a landing with a 45 to 55 degree angle of bank. Flaps under carriage down in landing configuration. There comes the C130J in for a short field landing. And there, ladies and gentlemen, she does a smooth touchdown. The aircraft will now rapidly decelerate. And wait, that's not all. Look towards the rear of the aircraft and you can see the ramp opening. This, ladies and gentlemen, is another unique characteristic of this aircraft. What you're witnessing right now is called an engine running combat offload of troops. There you can see the C-130 offloading troops right in the heart of the battlefield. The commandos who are exiting the aircraft are under the leadership of Corporal S.P. Singh. They will quickly move towards their pre-designated positions to take over the assault strip. While the commandos move towards their pre-designated positions, is back on the aircraft as she will now reposition for a quick takeoff. Commandos are now taking off the territory. Well, now you can see the aircraft repositioning for the max power short field takeoff. This kind of takeoff is used to get out of hostile zone as soon as possible. Turns round, the engines roll, and there she rolls forward. And there she gets airborne in just over 1,000 feet.